Okay, so been a couple of hours. I've been trying to uh, get all the supports off of this thing, and it is like nearly impossible. So I went by the directions for the supports and everything, but whew, this is this is really really having a hard time. Um, I'm going to have to uh, tweak something here because that's just not going to fly. I'd never give that to a, a customer, a prototype or not. I don't, I don't, uh, I'm not going to do that. I still got all of that to try to get out. So, yeah. This is 3D Grandma with her, her first Glock print. And again, my Ender 3 let me down. As always, um, I had it worked on. I've done everything. So, hopefully, eventually, I will have a printer that can print this size and actually work. When they do, I'm trashing these Ender 3s, that's for sure. So, our store. Uh, helps people in our community and we got the Ender 3s to teach kids how to 3D print and uh, this uh, somebody asked me for a prototype to see if I could do it so I'm giving this a shot but you know I can't teach kids how to 3D print on these Ender 3s because they just they I can't dial them in. They they just totally suck. I mean, the the mono price I can print on all day long. It, this thing, not so much. So, um, again, it's not a terrible print per se, as far as you know, all the little nubbies and the. Oops, excuse me. I'm just learning how to do this video stuff. So. You know, somewhere along the line, it, it jumped ship and uh, shifted. The uh, the supports are, are just horrible to try to get out. This is, uh, yeah. Anyway, so that's the end of, of this one. If I do get a chance to... Uh, work on another then um, I'll, I'll show you all but yeah right now not, not so much you know but keep printing and keep trying the more you learn the better off you'll be and this is 3d grandma and keep printing bye bye